in-wheel motors arrive when the manufacturers wanted to carry the automobile's power supply and several other vital fractions of a functioning automobile and position it inside the wheel. Do you have any idea about it? If not, then watch this video till the end as today we are showing you the entire working technology behind the in-wheel motor. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more uploads like this. Here we begin. We all know that a considerable amount of technology, layout, and exploration goes into creating an adequate tire. But in recent years, several car factories and tire corporations have been operating hard to alter how automobile owners understand and utilize them. They wish to develop something crucial more than the tires. Depending on this point of view, it possibly won't come as a wonder to you that these somewhat modern units are called in-wheel motors. So have you heard about it? You must keep watching the video until the end to get all the details. But how do in-wheel motors work? Do you have any ideas? Well, the fundamental principle of an automobile equipped with in-wheel electric motors is quite simple. The internal combustion engine generally found under the hood is clearly not mandatory. So this engine is supplanted with at least two motors which are positioned in the middle of the wheels. These wheels comprise not only braking elements, but all of the functionality previously accomplished by the engine, clutch, transmission, suspension, and other similar components. The most essential layout is the rather easy integration of an electric motor that is present in the hub of the wheel. When power is provided to the static coils present inside the wheel, an electromagnetic field is produced, and the outer fraction of the motor endeavors to interpret it and turns the wheel to which it is connected. Although the theory is somewhat simple in notion, in-wheel motors stand various concerns about accomplishment, purpose, and efficiency. We'll look at all these issues in this video to better understand how it works. How does its basic principle help its performance? First, generating an automobile that utilizes in-wheel electric motors is a strategy that's a lot more complicated than just tearing out the engine and then filling electric motors into the new area inside the wheel. Furthermore, this electric motor category is formulated to operate on hybrid automobiles, which means they are full battery-operated automobiles and even fuel cell-powered electric automobiles. The amount of power produced by these in-wheel motors can differ, and it depends on the factory and the size of the motor. For example, a corporation called Protean Electric uncovered a Ford F-150 truck at the Specialty Equipment Market Association exhibit in 2008. This company revised the Ford F-150 EV by eliminating the V8 engine and expanding four in-wheel electric motors to the truck. These four Protean drive motors are competent in delivering over 100 HP each, which equals 400 HP from all four motors. This was far more than generated by the standard V8 engine. Furthermore, each of these motors weighed just 68 pounds, which is 31 kilograms and progressed power from a 42 kWh lithium-ion battery that delivered the truck with a span of 100 miles, which is 161 kilometers before it needed recharging. The number of in-wheel motors an automobile utilizes can be modified to join the automobile provisions. For example, in most situations, two motors will recharge adequate power. Still, if you're speaking about an all-wheel drive automobile, which may be an off-road truck or a performance car, that would compel four in-wheel motors. Next, we will talk about the efficiency of the in-wheel motor. Again, relying on the plant, an in-wheel motor may include a mixture of elements, but most of them have similar fundamental parts. Again, we're utilizing Michelin's active wheel system as our instance. The exterior of an in-wheel motor has relatively little fluctuation when we correlate it to a basic wheel. Still, once the wheel is taken off the automobile, the major components of the in-wheel electric motor operation are uncovered. That fairly tiny region contains the braking system, electric motors, and active suspension system. First, let me tell you that the electric motor is the one which drives the car. The in-wheel active suspension strategy is an electrically operated system that can respond to a mere three one-thousandths of a second to automatically rectify pitching and rolling actions. Some in-wheel motor layouts deliver what's called regenerative braking. Have you heard about it? Regenerative braking implies the system apprehends a few of its kinetic energy while braking and carries it back to charge the battery. Isn't it great? Many hybrids such as the Toyota Prius and Tesla Roadster have already combined this regenerative braking technology, which gives automobiles a longer driving span. One of the enormous benefits of in-wheel electric motors is the truth that the power goes directly from the motor to the wheel. If the distance is reduced, the power travels increases the motor's efficiency. For example, in city driving situations, 
An internal combustion engine may run at 20% efficiency, which implies that the maximum of its energy is forfeited or expended via the mechanical techniques assigned to get there to the wheels. An in-wheel electric motor in a similar environment is explained to conduct at about 90% efficiency. Sounds pretty good, right? So far, we've understood that the mixture of various in-wheel motors can put out more than 600 horsepower and obtain their energy while braking. But what about the immediate power that's occasionally needed at the wheels? These in-wheel electric motors give enough torque for every application. After all, we all know that torque plays a crucial role in any vehicle's acknowledgement time and performance, doesn't it? In an automobile equipped with an in-wheel electric motor, there is a lot of torque accessible, almost shortly. This is because electric motors generate a high proportion of torque. And since that force is disseminated immediately to the wheel, relatively little is forfeited in the transfer. Each wheel can be furnished with detectors to deduce how much torque is mandated at any provided time. Related systems prevail in cars on the highway presently. Still, the acknowledgement times are scarcely slower due to the number of elements pertained to and the more complicated electrical communication courses. On an automobile equipped with in-wheel electric motors, various main systems are lodged within the wheel itself, so it just exists to justify that several of the core elements of a conventional automobile can be eliminated. We spoke at the beginning of this video that the engine, clutch, transmission, suspension, and other relevant parts can be eradicated on automobiles equipped with in-wheel electric motors. Do you know why it can do so? It's because in-wheel components rectify all of these processes. This substitution of mechanical purposes with electrical methods is frequently referred to as by-wire technology, for example, drive-by-wire, brake-by-wire, etc. Eradicating the engine makes it reasonable to expand design and structural enhancements to an automobile. To date, testing of the in-wheel electric motor system has been administered by several automakers and technology corporations, including the Venturi Corporation of Monaco, for the intention of its voltage concept vehicle. Still, reliability, durability, and protection issues are hard to note without extensive system usage. What are its advantages? Placing the motor in the wheel enables for an easier drivetrain and reduces energy failures from all the expurgated wiles. With all that majority reduced, makers are less constrained because they don't have to include awkwardly shaped mechanicals and can focus on aerodynamics and aesthetics. Another advantage is control. Not barely can wheel spin be eradicated, but comparable wheel speed can be organized, provided a complicated computer controller. When a car is in turn, every wheel needs to turn at a narrowly varied rate resulting in a loss of traction. If the individual speeds are appropriately governed, handling and grip should enhance. Are there any disadvantages of in-wheel motors? The major drawback is cost. Having two, or in some situations, four state-of-the-art mobilizers can vastly expand your automobile's cost, not to illustrate a boosted vulnerability to unfriendly outside forces. Ultimately, there is the concern of durability. Being so near to where the rubber blows the road in an unsprung way implies in-wheel motors required to be competent to soak up some pounding. Each factory will have to verify itself when it reaches ticking versus licking. So that's all for today. Isn't the working of this motor incredible? What do you think about this incredible in-wheel motor technology and its working? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on more videos like this. See you soon!